In a previous video, we talked about supplier relationships. And uh, we talked about this system thing that I have to use in almost every class. Uh, for a, a review, uh, over here we have, uh, this is our operation, this is us. And over here we have suppliers of the different things that we need. Uh, in this case, it would be a business market, right? It's our business. And then we have customers over here. And you could think of that as uh, target market, target markets. So we have different customers that we're trying to serve. So um, this is a little chart that Deming did. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, a lot of people just operate in a closed system. And it's, they don't talk to the customer. They don't really talk that much to the supplier. They just say, do you have it? I'll take it. And, and the argument is that we should create an open system so that we have relationships with the customer and with the suppliers. Now, uh, we get feedback from the customers and that feedback might go to the suppliers. In the last video, we were talking about shredded cheese. Well, if we were selling to a, a frozen pizza company, they may say the cheese isn't, uh, uh, we, we shred the cheese and then uh, we might you know have to go back and look at our raw materials to see if we need to change those to make the cheese so the customer likes it better uh, but the point is uh, this is the question on the study guide is supplier relationships going in both directions so it's going this way and that way so the the argument is that us our operation if it's closed, where we only really worry about ourselves, we don't talk to them, we don't talk to them. We need to open the system. So we get feedback from the customers and we build relationships uh, with the customer and the supplier. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, this is kind of ridiculous because why should we have to build a relationship with the supplier? The supplier should be building a relationship with us. And uh, instead of us just working on the relationship, why wouldn't the supplier be building a relationship with us? So if they're operating in their little closed system and we're operating in our little closed system, that's double stupid. But if we're operating a close, okay, we're going to open up. We have to go approach the supplier to build a relationship. That just seems ridiculous to me because the supplier should be wanting to build a relationship with us. It should be easy. But there are a lot of supplier type people out there that don't really care about building a relationship. They make their product, take it, you know, or shut. You know. They don't care. But we need suppliers that care. We need suppliers that care and are willing to build a relationship and listen to us so, so they can meet us halfway. So uh, summary advice is to open up your system and start relating and building a relationship with the supplier as if the supplier is not willing to have a relationship. So. Uh, hope that's not confusing. We build a relationship with them and you go, we have to build a relationship. Well, that should build. It should be easy. They should be trying to build a relationship with us so we can all better serve the customer.